Hey, baby. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Good evening. It's Sunday, October 10th. Happy Father's Day. Um, what a weekend. It's been a busy weekend. I did a lot this weekend. I, As you know, um, I went out and I hunted a little bit. Actually, I ended up seeing, yesterday evening, I ended up seeing at least two does in the adjacent field there in Waverly. I uh, didn't get a shot. I didn't get anywhere close to them, but I was able to see them. And I uh, got quite a bit of work done this weekend. Uh, visited a couple good friends. Visited my good friend Don Weathersby. And <clears throat> he and I spent several hours late, late, staying up late. And talking about the world, talking about everything from politics to current events to women to work to everything. So... Uh, today is October 10th. October 10th. It's funny. It's been now um, four months. It's been four months since I've seen you. Actually, October 8th. It would have been um, uh, Friday. It would have been four months since I've seen you. And uh, it, I don't know where the time goes. I don't know where it goes. Um, that's a big chunk of time. And it's a big chunk of time, and a lot's happening. A lot's happened to me in that time, as you know. Um, but a lot more has happened to you, and I think about that a lot. Actually, I, I think about that every day. How much, uh, how much we've missed. How much time we've missed together. Um, how much I've missed as a father, and how much you've missed as a daughter. Uh, tomorrow. Uh, we'll be, uh, well, let's see, you'll be 18 months old tomorrow. Is that right? That's right. 18 months old, and you'll be a year and a half. funny how much you don't notice when you're busy when you're busy running and working and visiting and playing <clears throat> you, you, you don't focus a lot on how much time passes and who all or what all else everyone else is doing so um, that's a lot of time 18 months you'll be 18 months uh, Monday and it's been four months since I've seen you so I think about that we're gonna have a lot of time to make up and I guess one reason I mean, obviously, one reason I came and I decided to start doing those videos is because I anticipated that. I knew that was going to happen, that we would have a lot of time to make up. And I guess it's, you know, it's only moments like this after a long weekend, a busy weekend. I accomplished a lot. I actually had a lot of fun. I, I relaxed and rested. I got really good sleep last night. Um, but now on a Sunday evening, I, you know, I don't really care for Sunday evenings. Um, on a Sunday evening as I get ready to go into my work week and I look back at the weekend uh, that I just had and last week and then um, all the time that's passed I sit here and I just pause and I think of you so it's really unfortunate in a lot of ways that um, we've lost this time and I don't have an answer for that I don't you know a lot of times somebody wants you to say something positive there or with me, it's coming up with a plan. Well, what do we do? How do we make up for that time? How do we get that time back? How do we shorten the time that we'll be away from each other? You know, those those are actions, active things that we can do uh, when something isn't going our way or when something that we're experiencing is sad or when something that we're experiencing we feel needs to change. I always want to take action. And I don't have an a answer for how unfortunate it is that we've... Uh, that we've lost that time. I uh, just want you to know that I guess I wish I hadn't. I wish we hadn't. I wish I had been a been able to be there. And uh, there's some significant things I know I've missed. Uh, your first, your first actual words, your first sentences, your first steps.
And it's cool. I, I, it's, uh, cool is, is uh, such an undermining word. It's um, immensely fascinating how uh, I anticipated a lot of feelings um, when you came into the world, when I became a father. And uh, I, most of them I've, I've been right on. I anticipated most of them, and I'm pretty good. I kind of know how I'm going to feel about things even before I feel them. Um, but uh, one of the things that still, that still surprises me and impacts me is when uh, I can hear your voice or when you speak to me in my dreams when I sleep. Never anticipated that. Never, th I mean, I, I've had people speak to me in my dreams. I've had my grandparents and my friends and even my bosses, but I never, never, never anticipated hearing and having you speak to me in my dreams. Uh, the last time we, we saw each other in June of 2021, four months ago, uh, you were, barely single words were coming from you. You would say, you would say baby and you would say ball. Um, but now you're speaking and it makes me wonder if some of what you talk to me about in my dreams you're actually saying or can say so there's not a lot of people or books or authors or movies or written material or videos that talk about and write about uh, what fathers feel <clears throat> maybe there's something there maybe there's an opportunity there for me to step in and fill a void I don't even know yet with all that I'm going through how I would begin to do that and if it was meant to be for me to do that but um, there's not a lot of material out there people and authors and writing and videos and everything else of people talking about what fathers new fathers experience particularly when they're not able to be with their children um, but it's a big deal uh, I think of you often I hear your voice a couple times now. I've heard your voice in my dreams, I think three three or four times. And then uh, just last night I've heard, I heard your words. You were speaking to me, so. Um, and then, you know, it's funny, I start thinking, well, pretty soon when you start putting words together and forming sentences and whole paragraphs and being able to protest and say no and say what you want and say what you don't want and say what you think and say what you feel, Maybe I won't have a need for these videos at that point, especially if we're spending time together. Then we'll be too busy spending time in the real world with each other and not here. Um, I'm going to let that develop the way that it should. I'll, I never anticipated doing this many videos and doing them this long. Uh, and then the other part of me thought, well, maybe I'll just do videos always for the rest of our lives. But... Nonetheless, Daddy sits here on Sunday night, October 10th, uh, thinking of you. So, I guess that's what I have to say tonight. There will be days when, uh, when in the future, when we're together, hopefully when you get to say what you want to say to me. Um, but for now, this is what we do. And until then, I wait for that, and I wait for the days when you can talk to me, not just in my dreams, but in real life. Tomorrow's Monday. We're back at it. I had a big weekend. I did a lot this weekend. I played. I relaxed. I worked. And tomorrow's a new day, and we'll work some more. So, as for tonight, happy Father's Day to us. I'll be dreaming of you, maybe.